Okay, folks. I decided that I would bring the tripod up and what I am doing is tending to my potatoes. This was another experiment. This was a lot of compost mulched with um, pine needle straw. Now, so far, like what I'm seeing on top, I've already done a few, whoops, ah, dug a few already, and then I figured, well, it's not raining yet, I'll, uh, I'll bring you along. So, again, this is a trial experiment grown in 100% compost, mulched with nothing but pine needles, dead pine needles. So, we'll see what we're going to get. I don't know if you can see that or not. Pretty good sized potato. Another one. That might be all there is. I planted eight tubers up here. That's all there is to that one. I planted eight tubers up here mid to late June, which is very late. Got a small button ones. We'll see how many potatoes I get. Looks like I'm going to get a lot of small ones and a handful of big ones. Yeah, two out of that one, two out of the other one. One, whoops, <laughs> throwing the potatoes at you folks. Three, one big one, four, three small ones. Oops, I don't know if I got that one with a fork or not. Nope. Phew. Another one. So, they don't seem to be producing a lot like I usually do in the sawdust where I get all kinds of them. And nice size. Alright, so. Still not bad. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I planted four tubers and two little end rows, basically, is what that came out to be. So we'll see how many potatoes we get out of eight plants, I guess. I didn't leave myself any room at all, did I? I don't know if you can see that, folks. Two. Ah, found a rotten seed. That was gross. All right. Let me grab my shovel, my spade and fork. That's what I call a spade and fork, folks. I don't know what you all call it. Another one. Tiny one. That one doesn't look very good. I don't know if it's still in the camera, folks. I don't think there was a plant there. In between plants. Yeah, in between plants. All right. So let's move over to right there. A little tiny one that can stay right there. One. Two, three, I'd say growing in 100% compost gave me some small potatoes. That's what I would say. So now we know, now we know, I think I've dug down too deep now, I'm into the dirt dirt. Let's do this one. I'll start out away from the plant a little bit. Good thing I did. I might have to dig away from the plants a little bit more. Maybe they ran on me. Maybe. I would say, oops. I would say, let me dig right there, that I grew potatoes, 
But there's that one that was half, well, I don't know what got into that. It looks like something was eating on it. This is certainly not comparable to when I grow them inside us. Certainly not. But I didn't need potatoes this year, and I had those as seed, and I wasn't going to, a lot of worms, I wasn't going to even plant potatoes this year, folks, because I have a bunch in jars that I canned up. But I found my, my seed potatoes, well, potatoes that I didn't end up eating, left over from the winter from last year, and uh, decided to throw them right in the ground. Very, very late in the season, folks. Very late. But we'll uh, swing around. And I'll show you. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty flowers. I don't know if I got all four plants or not, though. Seems like, oh, you guys, I said, it seems like there should be one right here. And there is. I can see a potato. Small one. Three more small ones. That makes four. Yeah, that's it, folks. That is it. What have I got here? Right here. I don't know if you're seeing that or not. It says, I can't even read my own writing. Oh, trench. Trench compost. Underground. What does that say? Trench compost. Under and around seeds. I don't know what that means, folks. <laughs> my notes don't mean anything if I don't understand what it means when I dig them up. So, let me widen this out a little bit, see if I did miss any. So I dug here with my hands. And then I smacked up and got the spade and fork out. When you are growing in sawdust, they come out really clean and you don't need anything but your hands, right? That's it. That's it right there, I think. Yeah, that's it. So if you only want a few potatoes, I guess that's the way to do it. That's plenty enough for me to eat fresh anyway. Oh uh, yeah. Let me, uh, Show you the harvest here. I'd rather not get this box dirty because I've got to let them cure. I'll spread them out anyway, but I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that? Yeah, right there. So, out of eight potato plants, that's what I got for potatoes growing this trial method, which is aged compost and mulch with pine needle straw. There might be, there might be 10 pounds there, because I've got some big ones in there too. But mostly they're this size here, right? I got some, I don't know if you call them medium or large, but I got some of those. Some of them, I think it's too much compost. They got wrinkles in them. I don't know. So that's the trial in my garden. Now let's go over to my experimental garden where I've been uh, well, I haven't in a while. Keeping you up to date. I know there's potatoes over there because I picked four two or three weeks ago um, to give away. So I know there's potatoes there. It's not going to be a, well, it will be a true count. So whatever we get, we'll just add four to, right? All right. See you in a bit. Okay. So this is my, this is the, look at that. This is the one that you all been following along. There's a nice size one. There's one. There's another nice size one. Small ones. Little tiny ones. These plants, I, they're not fully died back. But I just want to get the garden stuff done and over with. Let me remove the mulch. Another one, it says experiment potato, 100% compost. Another potato, nice one. Another one, this one's a little knobby. Looks like I'm into the second plant. Nice sized potato. That one is split, which is what Johnny Farmer John said might happen because of the too much nitrogen. Yep. Looks like I got some of them. That's a nice one. Didn't get that one. Let's see how deep they went. Here's another look at that knobby one. Huh? 
very knobby. So let me peel this away. I haven't been watering these folks and we've been pretty much in a drought. So they could have, they just could have split. Let me give my, my fork out. Doesn't look like there's any down there, but let me get my fork out. Here's my maca. Yeah, so it stayed in the compost. The potato stayed in the compost. All right, so let's, uh, this side here is the one that I took potatoes from, the, those four potatoes. I didn't bring anything to put these potatoes in either, folks. Ah, sorry. I didn't dig that in hard enough. Okay, here's, here's one potato, not bad. I'm gonna call that one. Oh yeah, look at them all. Small. One, two, three. Four, five. Six. I'm not gonna count that little one. Seven, eight, small ones. Nine. No, they didn't run either. They didn't run and they didn't go very f deep into the compost pile. So what I'm going to do is get that one right over there. I might have got everything already. I don't know. Dry. Pretty dry, folks. Yep, that's it. So this is what we ended up getting out of this one here. We got some big ones that aren't split, that aren't scabby. That one's got a maybe a split and a and a crease right there. Nothing wrong with that one. This one is really bumpy, really knobby. Nothing wrong with that one. Whoops, throw it away. This one here had a split. Maybe a little bumpy. Not bad potato, no, no scabs. This one here is really knobby as well. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with these. They look good. They look really, really good. Of course, you got some small ones. So, I didn't see too much splitting, but I have noticed that they tend to be really knobby. But that's okay. You take, you take this and cut it off or break it off and this and cut it off and break it off, throw it right in the soup. And then what you've got left is a pretty good sized potato, right? I harvested four a while ago, so let's count what these potatoes gave me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, so twenty-two potatoes. Bigger than than what was up in the garden. So, I don't think, I don't know, let's let Farmer John enter this conversation with the rest of you. Because I don't, I don't see any scabs. I don't see any, any splitting. I saw this one that has a split right there. Not bad though. Not bad, it's not deep. And this one had a small split. So I'm not seeing that they split. I am seeing, well, did I get that one? Good grief, folks. So there's three that had split and two that were really knobby. 
really knobby. So did the 100% compost do that? Make it knobby like that? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure, but I guess I'm not going to complain on these potatoes. I'm not going to complain. All right, so this experiment is over. I'm going to have to mull, mull it over and come up in my head what may have caused the bumpiness and those three potatoes that had minor, minor splits. Now, did the splits come from the 100% compost? Or did the split come from during our heat wave that we had that was so friggin' hot? And they took on a, a pretty good growth spurt after all that rain. Then we got the heat. Did the compost do that? I don't know. I'm thinking, though, that the bumpy ones was because of the compost. That's what I'm thinking right now. So... Please chime in to what you think. What you think may have caused the bumpiness and what may have caused the splitting. Okay, since it hasn't started raining yet, I've got my digital scales. I've got a basket. We'll turn it on. I will zero it out. And let's weigh. This will only go up to, I think, 15 pounds. So we're going to have to do it in batches. See how many potatoes we've got. Whoops, it went off on me. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, we got three pounds. There's five pounds. Seven pounds. Eight pounds. Eight and a half pounds. Nine pounds. Okay, right now it is 10 pounds, 1.7 ounces. I don't know if I'm going to remember that or not. 10 pounds, 1.7 ounces. And the ones I harvested a few weeks ago are about this size, about. So, let's get an average weight on those. Whoops. Oh, I felt the sprinkle, folks. I gotta hurry it up. All right, so let's put this on here. Zero it out. Zero it out. Let's see how much this one weighs. Seven, seven ounces, 7.1 ounces. Let's put two in there. Let's put four, about the same size, because that's what I harvested before. So, one pound, 12.2 ounces. So, let's just add another pound onto that from before to get a true count of how many pounds 12 potato plants gave me. That's already zeroed out. These are the small ones. We're up to four pounds. It's sprinkling, folks. I'm trying to hurry. We're up to six pounds. I love my digital scales, folks. Comes an awful handy when you have to weight measure, right? All right, eight pounds, 14 ounces, 14, eight pounds, 14.2 ounces. Let's, uh, because some of these have creases and they're full of dirt, but not much, let's just call it, let's just call it eight pounds even, I guess. Drain it. Treat your potatoes nicer than this, folks. I don't usually handle them like that. This one here, sunburn, I'm gonna compost it. Okay, so let me go in and figure out what we got for poundage out of 12 plants. Okay, folks, to make this a little more accurate, see it's zeroed out. I'm going to zero it out again. And my average potato seed are about this size here, so I planted 12 plants. So I am going to put, oh, almost dropped that one off the deck, 12 potato seed. And it comes out to one pound, 15 ounces. So let me go figure how many potato seed that size produced my potato crop with my experimental garden. Okay, folks, it is sprinkling. I am in the small woodshed. As you can see, it's a collect all right now. So I dug my potatoes, right? Did the weighing thing. 
all this. So this is what I come up with, with for figures. These plants were grown in 100% aged chicken coop litter and mulched with pine needle straw, which is just dead pine needles, right? So I planted 12 plants trial. So the 12 potato seed averaged out to be in all 12 of them, one pound, 15 ounces. Out of those potato plants, I harvested 19 pounds, 29 ounces. That equals, if I'm doing my math right, folks, that equals 1.61 ounces of potatoes per plant. So for this experiment, I don't, I don't believe that's a really good outcome at all. Is it an increase? Yes. Yes, it's an increase for sure. And it's definitely better than, than nothing, right? So as I stand here, the sawdust method that I, that I basically I invented, because you can't tell me I can't grow anything in sawdust, especially potatoes in sawdust, because potatoes need a lot of nitrogen, not too much, but they need nitrogen. And sawdust uh, robs nitrogen from the plant. But if you do it right, folks, you do it right, um, then growing in sawdust the way the way that I do, not this year, uh, yields at least five times more potatoes, bigger potatoes, healthier potatoes. So, but it's an experiment, right? It's an experiment. Um, so that's what I got for figures. If I if I did my my math wrong, folks, then let me know. But with my figures that I come up with, if you just wanted a handful of potatoes, twelve potato seed, and you only get 19 pounds of potatoes out of 12 potato seeds, 12 plants. I don't consider that worth bothering with again. A true experiment would do this a few times and, and see what the outcome is. But this is enough for me to me not want to bother doing that again. I will, when I grow potatoes again, I don't even think it'll be next year, folks. Um, I will certainly do my, grow my potatoes in sawdust. I will try to find a, I think I did a three or four part series on how uh, I come up with a way to grow potatoes in sawdust. That's very effective, very easy, folks. And if I, if I can get my hands on, on, cause they're on my old channel, right? I will put them down below under this video. So if you're interested in growing potatoes, that actually yields something because that sawdust method has proven itself year after year after year for me. And, but it took me seven or eight years to come up with the method. And somebody says, why don't you, why don't you sell the information on how to grow potatoes and sawdust? I don't believe in that, folks. I don't believe, I believe education should be free. And if you feel you need to sell how you come up with a method that has proven itself 100%, 100% every year. Then why not help someone else out? That's just how people call me weird. Money is not important to me, folks. Being happy, being healthy, living the life that I choose is what's important to me. Now, do I have bills I have to pay? Absolutely. Do I have things I need to buy? Uh, from outside to here. Absolutely. 
but I am not going to sell information if it could help someone else. I'm just not going to do that, folks. I don't believe in that at all, at all. So if you're all interested in learning how to grow potatoes and sawdust that has, like I said, has never, never, never failed for me. I planted my potatoes, what, two years ago doing the sawdust method. I planted so, I had, I had so many potatoes because that's what happens, folks. You don't have to plant them every year when you grow them in sawdust the way that I do because you get such a huge crop that you don't have to plant them for two or three years, right? Now, I, I don't really think I'll have to plant potatoes next year. So that'll be three years that I didn't have to plant potatoes, right? So I'll, I'll trial, I'll do experiments. And if I get something great, if I don't, well, then that's, then I've learned something, right? Like this one. I don't think I'll do this method again. So anyway, there it is, folks. I'm just rambling. It is getting quite cool out. The wind has picked up. The birds are happy down the bog. And uh, I hope this video helped you out. Right? Bye-bye.